In the previous lesson, you learned how to add transitions and a lower third title to your project. In this lesson, you'll learn how to add effects and enhance the look of your movie. Start by parking the playhead over the Sabercat flyby clip in the timeline. On the far right side of the toolbar, open the Effects Browser. You can preview any effect in the viewer by skimming over each thumbnail. Skim over the Artifacts effect. This one looks pretty good. To apply this effect, drag it over the Sabercat flyby clip in the timeline, and when you see a plus sign appear, release your mouse. Now open the Inspector by clicking the Inspector button in the upper right of the interface. Click the Film Strip button to reveal the Video Inspector. The controls for changing the effect appear at the top. Let's change the position to the left and the opacity to 30%. You can either enter a value or use the slider. To make this clip seem more like a memory or flashback, we can add another effect to this clip. Locate the Stylize category in the Effects Browser and scroll down until you see the Photo Recall effect. Skim the thumbnail to preview it, then add it to the clip. In the Inspector, change the Blur to 80, the Separation to 100, and the Scale to 75. Move your playhead back to the beginning of the clip and play it back. I looked at the sky one time, saw an aircraft up there, and thought, wow, that must be incredible. Let's skim over the liftoff clip and click once in the gray area to park the playhead over it. Rather than repeating all those steps to apply the same effects to this clip, we can copy and paste just the attributes we want. Select the Sabercat flyby clip and press Command C to copy. Then select the liftoff clip, and from the edit menu, choose Paste Attributes. The Paste Attributes window appears with visuals showing you the clip that you've copied the attributes from and the clip you're about to paste them to. The items that will be pasted appear with check marks next to them, allowing you to control what items get pasted. Let's turn off the photo recall and also volume, as I don't want the volume levels from the other clip pasted to this clip. Now click Paste. Let's quickly look at how to automatically color balance a clip. But first, we need to re-enable the cabin clip we disabled in a previous lesson by selecting it and pressing V. Skim over the clip. This clip was shot late in the day and Mitch appears a bit too orange. To neutralize the color cast, select the clip, then from the Enhancements menu choose Balance Color. Final Cut Pro 10 will automatically balance the color based on a reference frame and eliminate most of the orange cast from the shot. In the Inspector under Effects, click the purple checkbox next to Balance Color to see a before and after. In the next and final lesson, you'll learn how to share your movie.